Hola. Hola. Welcome to Lightspeed Spanish. Here we are in Spain, in Guadalajara. And we're doing a video on the verb to become. Again. Okay. This is video number two. Um, the reason is because when we made our first video, obviously there were lots of comments about um, other ways of saying to become in, in Spanish. So we're going to cover those ways as well. ¿Qué tal estás, Cintia? ¿Bien? Sí, estoy muy bien. Uh -huh. Sí, gracias. ¿Y cómo sí. estás tú? Muy bien, muy bien. Noto que estás un poco bronceada, Cintia. Un poco, sí. Es que... Yeah. España. España. ¿eh? <laughs> 40 grados. Ok, Cintia. So, in the last video we covered some verbs about to become, but we've got some other ones. We've got um, the verb llegar a ser. Yeah, three words. <laughs> Count them out. Llegar a ser. Sí. Okay, so what would how would we say that in English? To arrive to be. To become. <laughs> to become. Uh, llegar a ser. To move on to be or. Yeah. No. No, no. It's, it's to. It, we, the only read it's literally it would be to arrive to be. To arrive yeah? to be. Okay. okay, but we would say but to not, become. Not to arrive physically to be. No, to to arrive at a point, in in your life. Yeah. Llegar a ser, it's a, it's a verb that, a phrasal verb that uh, means that something took some effort. Right. And probably time as well. Okay. Time and effort. Uh -huh. Could I say something like, um, después de 10 años de estudios, llegó a ser profesor? Correcto. Yeah. So after 10 years of studying, he became a teacher. He managed to achieve being a teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Tras una larga carrera, llegó a ser un profesional excelente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, typically with effort to arrive at something, to become. So, if you picture somebody, uh, yeah. If you have to arrive, you have to walk all the way there to arrive. To so, arrive. imagine that, like being ah, hard okay. work, getting there, and you got there. Yeah. All right. So, llegar a ser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, we have... Ponerse. Ponerse. Now this is a really interesting verb because it has lots of other meanings, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even one uh, sexual meaning. Oh. Likely. Just one. Likely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the joke, me pone. <laughs> True. Okay. We're you not going to say that. Words. No. Right. Um, ponerse. Yes. Ponerse is more for moods. Mm -hmm. And for um, emotions. emotions. Yeah. Okay. For example, um, when it means to become, I mean, because it means other things. Yeah, honestly. yeah. It isn't. It doesn't just mean to become. So be careful with this, okay? But we're just dealing with the with the way that the verbs work to say become in English. Because become can also sorry ponerse can mean ponerse to put on, ponerse una chaqueta, sí. ponerse un gorro, ponerse una camiseta, mm -hmm. ponerse borracho. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ponerse to become drunk. So yeah, you, uh, to get drunk. To yeah. get drunk, yeah. Vale. Mm -hmm. um, so examples of ponerse. I mean to become. Um, se puso enfermo. Mm -hmm. He became ill. Okay. So se puso enfermo. E se puso triste. Se puso a llorar. That's to burst. Burst into tears. Into yeah. tears. Yeah. yeah. Or, mm. Okay. Start to cry. To no? start to cry, yeah. As ponerse. Oh, yeah. no. To burst into tears is romper. A romper, a llorar. That yeah. would be more like empeza, eh, empezar. She started to cry, yeah. She, yeah. yeah. Ponerse so, feliz, ponerse triste. To become happy, to become sad. Okay. Eh, ponerse ansioso, ponerse nervioso. Mm -hmm. He became mm -hmm. anxious, he became nervous. Okay. So, ponerse. All right. so it tends to be emotional states. Yes. Yeah? To become Moods, something. Emotions. All right, excellent. And then. And then we have. Uh, pasar a ser. Mm. This one is not maybe as used as the rest. Okay. Maybe it's more specific. Right. And that's is that, that's like to move on to be something, yes. isn't it? Unlike llegar a ser, which demands a lot of effort. Pasar a ser, does, does that have an effort to it? Or is it just kind of... It could be accidental. The next move. Uh -huh, it could be like the next move. This is what happened after that. Yeah. Um, so yes, it could be accidental. Mm -hmm. Like... Um, um, después de haber reaccionado de esa manera, 
ante la crisis, ella pasó a ser la directora de uh -huh. la sección. Uh -huh. oh, ¿Qué me sentí vez pasada a ser? Ok. Um, so, um, after leaving that company, she moved on to be um, sí. a cleaner uh -huh. in a factory. Sí. Uh -huh. How would okay. that one be? Sí, pasó a Después ser. Después de, de dejar esa compañía, pasó a ser una mujer de la limpieza en, en otra fábrica. Ok. Mm -hmm. Maybe that wouldn't be the natural, <laughs> the next step for that, but <laughs> he could be. Okay. Sí, 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 that, uh, that's possible. Okay. Bien. Uf. It's oh, hot, gosh. isn't it? I know you, you estás sudando. Estoy Cintia. sudando. Wow. Cintia está sudando. Because, I tell you why she's so sweating, because she's not accustomed to Spanish weather. Okay. <laughs> no. She's lived for 10 I just lived here. Nearly 11 oh, years in the, no, 11 years in the UK. We've, we're in Spain on holiday and it's just awesomely hot. Sí, hace muchísimo calor, muchísimo calor. Yeah. And we also have some comments um, from students saying that we should add quedarse. Mm. But I can't think of quedarse right now as to become. No. So if you can give me an example, the person who wrote about quedarse, meaning to become, please give me an example and I'll think about it because sometimes I can't think about it, but then somebody tells me and I go, oh yes, that's, that's sure. a good one. Sure. And we've been looking on the internet as well, see if we can find quedarse. We couldn't find an example of that one. we haven't found anything, mm. but I'm sure there'll be a sentence somewhere that quedarse means to become, for mm. sure. Mm -hmm. So. And bear in mind, bear in mind, sorry to interrupt you, Cynthia. Did you have something else to say? No, 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 that's no. fine. Bear in mind that the verbs that we're giving you also, because the phrasal verbs, they also have other meanings in other contexts, okay? It isn't just becoming, but that's what we're focusing on now. Mm -hmm. Bueno, eh, ¿algo más, Cynthia? Nada más. Eso Nada más. Todo. El resto en los help sheets. Okay, and perhaps you'll notice uh, here in Spain, when this conversation is coming to an end, Spanish people say, pues nada. Pues it's just nada. too hot to drag on a conversation. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> pues nada. That's all. So nothing. Yeah. Okay. So nothing. Bien. Entonces, muchas gracias, Cindia. A ti, Gordo. Nos vemos en el próximo. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Adiós. Adiós. Adiós.